Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm going to be tying this today. A woolly bugger, simple woolly bugger. Um, I needed some, so I figured, hey, make a tutorial on how to tie these. I know I've done them before in the past, but I don't believe I've tied them exactly like this before. And today I'm using Risen's streamer hook, the Streamer 300. This is a size 10. These are going to be smaller woolly buggers. It is a long shank, so they're small. Even though they're small, they're they're a longer fly. Uh, it comes out looking the way I'm tying these. Going to come out looking like a damsel uh, nymph in a way. Since I'm not doing a bead head or anything, I'm going to put a little lead on here just to make sure it gets down a little bit. So I'm doing ten wraps. Uh, I put in a bobbin holder. It just makes it easier to wind on, as you could see there. Um, Basically, wind on 10 wraps. I like to keep it roughly in the center, sort of. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll help kind of keep it going down flat rather than, you know, with a bead head, it'll it'll want to jig on you, kind of head first, kind of. You don't want it too far back, it'll tail first. It'll look a little funky. So roughly in the center. Start your thread somewhere up by the eye. You can see I'm a little more this direction, a little more towards the eye than the back. Just kind of build up a dam on either side of them, of the lead, and then kind of smooth that out a little bit. Come back to the, roughly about the bend of the hook here. I actually leave a little room there. It just makes it easier to tie in. It doesn't have to be perfect with these tails. And so you can use, these use Marabou. Um, I'm actually going to be using Chickaboo, which is a little smaller. I got a pelt here. It's actually a soft tackle and Chickaboo pelt by Whiting, and I, I really like these. It gives you a couple different options for feathers, and they're inexpensive. So I take two of them. You can see here there's two of them. I line the tips up. I like to wet my fingers, kind of makes it easier to tie in. And then I'm going for a little less than a hook shank here, about a half a hook shank. I don't want these too long. And that's why I'm using this type of, instead of marabou, it's chickaboo, it'll move a little better. So I'm gonna bring this all the way up to right about where the lead is tied in, kind of help keep that taper. Come back. And now we need some flash. I'm using this gold, and it's actually the midge flash. It's a little smaller. Since it is a smaller um, bug, I mean, it's not a midge, but I don't know. I just, I, I, I like this. It makes for a finer, you know, flash. <laughs> um, I like tying this for this one in just slightly past the the tail. Like so. Slightly. I'm barely past the tail. Then the way I tie these in is with wire. So I'm gonna bring this all the way up. Close to the eye here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Pin that in on the side and just wind all the way down. And then do a couple wraps at the tail here just to keep that wire from bending out. Kind of keeps it nice and solid. Come up just a little bit. And then instead of using chenille, I'm using dubbing. This is Senyos Laser Dub in Olive. Kind of works out. It doesn't have to be this stuff, but anything with a longer fiber really like and the technique I'm using here is not I'm not gonna dub in the whole thing there's a lot of fluff back here so I'm just holding the fluff and I'm gonna start winding and you want to start at the the rear get it started and then just start winding up and it kind of builds its own little taper in a way as you can see and I want to taper it a little wider at the front than at the back you know what guys, I need a little more light here. 
There we go. That'll help kind of under light this. All right, so as you can see, I've got more of a, a kind of a taper up towards the, the front here. But you want to leave a little space right behind the eye, as you can see, right there. So I've got this beautiful, um, it's a whiting cape. It's American whiting, American hackle. It's an olive, really, really nice. Um, these are more for streamers. They're not really a dry fly. I mean, I guess you could bigger dry fly, really, really big dry fly, but they have wide kind of, I wouldn't say webby, but, um, it's a little wider as you can see. Um, just too big for dry fly, but they work really nice for these. Um, and they're nice tapered, as you can see, it's, um, which I like on these. So I'm, I stripped off the back here where the stem is um, kind of more, it's not as limber, it's not as soft. So um, then I just kind of, I'm gonna tie it in perpendicular like so. Okay, do one, two, three, four, and then pull the stem back and wrap over the stem once or twice, and then come back to the front of the eye there. And that will lock it in, it will not come out. I mean, I can pull on this and it's not gonna come out. So then you need some kind of hackle pliers. You just want to grab the tip. I really like any of them that have like, um, see how this has like a rubber, just kind of helps hold it. You just want to grab just the tip of it. This starts out a little webby. So you want to make one, two wraps in the front and then just start winding. And you want a pretty wi uh, wide wrap um, wind with this. You don't want to go too close with this one in particular. I mean, the the feather I don't think is gonna give you enough room to do it, but also I don't like these to be um, super dense. All right, and then you grab your wire and capture that and you can pull out the pliers. By the way, I've got little hair clips I stole from my daughter that I keep on um, and, and it helps hold these. Um, I've got the wire in a bobbin holder and it helps kind of hold those uh, two you know out of your way um, by the way I'm so I'm going up through this okay and you kind of want to wiggle it a little bit so you don't trap as many fibers um, but up up through kind of helps to get up to the front there's a little webbiness you want to make sure they're not going to get trapped um, you just wind up through counterclockwise and that'll help um, or doesn't have to be if you wrapped counterclockwise um, originally, just the opposite direction of the hackle. Then when you come up, make a wrap with the wire in front of the hackle, one full wrap, and then go under it with the thread and over it, and then under it again with the thread and over it, and then pull everything, including the wire back. And don't over, don't go over the hackle too much, but a little bit is fine. And then once you kind of make quite a few good wraps, you can helicopter this right off. There you go. And this, by the way, is a brassy sized wire, gold wire. That's why I'm using. Nice and sturdy. It'll hold up. And then you're pretty much done. Go ahead and whip finish. Had a couple of the trapped fibers in the back, but that's all right. And there we go. And kind of pinch right up front, pull those back a little bit. There's a nice woolly bugger. Now, to cement the head, I really do like to cement them because they can come out a little bit. So I've got um, solar res bone dry here. It's nice because it just paints right on and it's really thin. So it gets into those fibers 
It also stiffens up the front a little bit, gives you a little more um, water movement. Make sure it didn't get into the eye, which it didn't. And then just hit it with your light and it's good to go. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that um, kind of shines up real good, the, the um, laser dub. And I like that, it just gives like kind of an iridescent body, um, which I like. It has, has some nice fibers in it that does that. So you can see it's almost, almost iridescent and somehow, I don't know why, I don't know if fish see the UV or whatnot, but it seems like anytime there's extra UV in, in flies, it seems to get the fish's attention. And then don't forget to trim off the back end here. Of that, and you're good to go. There is a finished woolly bugger. These things work really well, guys. I mean, <laughs> I think the woolly bugger has to be one of the most um, most used streamer, definitely most used streamer, even just fly on the planet. I mean, this, this thing catches just about any kind of fish. I know people that fish larger size woolly buggers in the, in the salt water and some smaller size woolly buggers if they're like surf fishing and stuff. Um, they just work, guys. So, um, you know, uh, it works for trout, bass, sunfish, just pretty much any, any fish. Uh, they can mimic a, um, a bug like this one tying to kind of be like a uh, dragonfly nymph. But they can, you know, they can mimic fish, little, little darting fish. They can mimic just about anything. So they're really, really good to have in your box. Um, and they're easy to tie, relatively easy to tie. So give them a try if you haven't already. I'm sure you have though. If you tie flies, probably already have tied the woolly bugger. I always say that woolly bugger should be one of the first flies you try to tie if if you want to if you want to fish with them if you like fishing with woolly buggers you should tie them one of the first ones it helps teach you some techniques with hackling and all that just a really good all-around fly to start with go ahead and check out risen they make some really really nice hooks um, these I mean and for a really good price these are good hooks these ones are barbed. They do have some barbless. Uh, their barbless series is amazing. I really like their barbless, but even their barbed hooks, um, I think these go for like 350 roughly, um, I believe, for 25 of them. So it's it's a good good price. It's hard to beat. Plus, you get a discount. So type in McFly at checkout, and you'll get a discount on anything you buy there. They've got really nice beads and, and uh, hooks and you know a bunch of different fly, fly tying material. Uh, they... Even have UV resin if you don't want to use um, uh, the bone dry. And their resin is a little better priced than solar res. And it's good. Um, I've used it. It's good. Uh, I just like the paint, paint on for this type of uh, fly. But um, they also have rods and reels, um, which are really good quality. That's all I fish, guys. I only fish resin rods and reels. So definitely check those out. Also, hit the, hit the like button if you could. Hitting the like button helps with the um, algorithms with YouTube, so it helps helps me out, lets YouTube know that you like it. Um, also comment, that helps out as well. Anytime you're in, uh, interactive with the with it, it, it just helps out for some reason. Um, it gets me more views, so definitely do that, helps, helps me. Um, I also sell flies, so if you guys are interested, it helps out the channel. And it also uh, gets you some, some flies, and I try to keep the prices pretty good, so. Um, about as good as most fly shops. So definitely check that out. Let me know if you want to buy some flies. Anyway, I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.